What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is time to learn about some math. I'm setting up my phone because, see? Okay, that was weird, probably. Okay, so I'm Tyler from TarverAcademy.com. We're going to do our problem of the day. Here it is. We got this. I've already written out the Pythagorean theorem for you, which is kind of like cheating, but it's okay. I want you to be able to be assisted. All right, I'm going to let you pause this. Try your best to work the problem. When you got what you think is an answer, hit resume. Go. Whew. That was fun. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to find out what X is. Okay? So I'm trying to find X. Now, don't be like, oh, there it is. I found it. We've all heard that joke. Don't do it. Just say no. Okay? All right. So we're looking at this problem. I've already given you Pythagorean theorem. Pythagoras was a ball, baller, not boss. He maybe was a boss. I don't know what kind of corporation he ran. Okay, so first thing you need to know, what is my A, what is my B, what is my C, and then I can plug these in, okay? A and B are legs of the triangle. C is the hypotenuse. That's probably how you spell it. Okay, the thing with the hypotenuse is, the legs, it does not matter, okay? Those two can be switched, alternate, it doesn't matter. Well, I don't know which one's A. As long as it's one of the legs, it's fine. Now the problem is the hypotenuse. That is the special one. That is the one you need to get correct, okay? Hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. And you're like, what does opposite mean? Well, it means if you went from that and shot over to the other side, that's the hypotenuse. Another way to remember it is, wherever the right angle is, the things attached to it are the legs, the other one, the only one left in your triangle is your hypotenuse, okay? It's also always your longest side, okay? So, we know, I'm going to rewrite it. A and B doesn't matter. I can pick X and 8. X squared plus B squared, which will be our 8, equals our hypotenuse squared, which is 15 squared. Now, I'm going to go ahead and simplify as much of it as I can. Can't simplify X squared because we don't know X. 8 squared is 64, 15 squared is 225. Now, I've got to continue to solve this. Next thing i got to do is get rid of that 64. What's the opposite of adding 64? Subtracting 64. x squared equals 161. Last step, I've got x squared, the opposite of squaring something, square rooting. Way to remember that is on your TI whatever calculator, wherever your x squared is, if you hit second and then hit that, it's square root. They put them on the same button, unless they change that. So square root both sides, that cancels these out. You can look, put it as x equals radical 161. Um, they might want you to simplify the radical. Um, they might just want you to put it in your calculator. I would usually, for my students, tell them to put it in the calculator because we have distances, and so that would be good to have. I think that's, um, what is that, 12 point something? I don't know, 12 point something? What's 160? Let's I'll find out. Let's find the exact answer. So square root of 161, 12.688, depending on where they want you to round it. If I rounded it there, That'd be the answer. Okay, and you always usually put like this because that means about that. All right, that's it, guys. We did our problem of the day. If you would, please subscribe to TarverAcademy.com. Type in TarverAcademy.com. It'll take you to the YouTube page. Um, and just believe in your dreams. That's all I have to say. Bye. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out TarverAcademy.com.